I'm ready to glue the front cover now. Uh, so in order to do that, I need to glue this page here. And then the front cover will go here and the book will close. Be very careful not to glue it like this. Try to um, uh, PVA this part. So you want to do it like that overlap. What I want to do right now is I want to apply some of the glue stick here. And I already did that, but I'm just going to do it one more time. And then I'm going to overlap this page and glue it like this. All right. So, page is glued. Now it's clear that I have to I have to glue this part right here and then put the cover right on top. So in order to do that, I have a little trick where I take a new sprint, fold it in half, and then slip it right under here and start painting right on top. So the only thing to watch out for is not to glue these pages underneath. You might want to do another new sprint underneath if you want, like that. So totally, completely isolate this page. All right, I'm good. And always keep the damp rag handy to wipe off any glue on your fingers. So let's see. So I have the page painted and I need to flip it right on top of this cover. You want to position it in the way that it sits right in the middle so it has a quarter inch margin around the perimeter. Then it's going to line up with the rest of the cover. So before you completely close it, or before you burnish it down, just make sure to close the two covers and make sure that they line up and you don't need to move anything. And if you do, then do it now. And then you press hard on it. So we just glued the whole thing. Here it is. And you can burnish it down now. And your book is basically finished. So all you have to do right now is put it under the press. If you have some glue in here, then what you want to do is slip sheet this with the wax paper or plastic. Plastic doesn't make things dry out too fast, so you might want to put the wax paper in here and here and in here. And after that, you press it down. So line the whole thing up and you can press it under the weights, like put a book on top, something heavy, like a biology book or something right on top of this. Let it sit till tomorrow and then your book will be done. And then you can put anything in it. So you've got your pockets here and you can start putting things in them. Because this book has a little bit of a slant to it and pockets, you won't be able to press it directly like this. What I would recommend is pressing uh, two covers separately. The pressing needs to happen so your board dries out flat instead of warp. So the grain sometimes get, uh, warps the board. You want to press this down. So what I want to do is I want to put something heavy on this side and something heavy on this side. And they don't have to be close to each other since it's an accordion book so I can actually bring it out a little bit. And I'm going to use the parchment paper. The ideal thing to use is the wax paper. Uh, you don't want to use just regular newsprint to put here because there might be some glue that might seep through and the wax paper usually doesn't stick to glue. That's the reason why we're using it. And then you want to put some heavy books on top like that or like that or some heavy object 
on top. So and press like this overnight or for at least 12 hours. So when you come back, the whole thing is going to be flat and dried out. And then we're done with this book.